welcome back once again to Total War League Siege Season 9. Today on the Settlement of Tur, we've got once again the unbiased mods. Oh, I can't remember which one I forgot to write down if they're attacking or defending. Uh, well, we'll find out. Maybe I'll put a little overlay here in the, in the post edit. They're going to go ahead and make that breach right at the tower it gets a little glitchy it can get a little glitchy in and around this tower and they're just full sending it they don't like the looks of this little bit of a sally out it's not much it's just a couple of cav units the gen royal cataphract noble horse archer and while we're looking let's take a look at the rest of the defender army we've got eastern spear cartley axeman aka the cardi sexman eastern archers a whole bunch of Cartleys. About seven or eight. Can't see anything else. Oh, no. Here, here we go. we got a Scorpion. And we've got a more of those. And an Eastern Javi. Very nice. Egypt alongside uh, Armenia here. We've got Cretans. We've got the Thorax Swords. And Levy Thoreo Spear. What else? What else? What's the general here? The Korean Axemen. More Levy Thoreos. Light Peltist rounding out the uh, defending force. Singular Breach. Uh, they might want a double breach. Like I said, this is a very difficult, glitchy um, little space. Even if you break the tower, the guys, they don't like to go this way. They kind of trickle in a couple at a time and they just get cut down. It's, it's not ideal. Our attackers are going to set up a couple of tower walls. Whoop. They're going to set up a couple of tower walls here. One over here. One over here so they can go ahead and try to get their shots off. They still haven't completed this. Uh, I'm not sure why. I don't think they're out of ammo. I know they were launching a lot of volleys. And now with that we can see the entirety of the attacking army. Let's take a look at what they brought. We've got our noble swords. We have our mercenary axe, axemen, axe warriors, mercenary axe warriors. A few of these uh, regular spears, spear warrior. Nabataeans. Uh, Armored Desert Hoplite, Navitine Sword. My guess would be, I saw them run over here. The Archers is the Adacian Heavy. And the Nabataean Heavy Archers would be my guess. If I was a betting man. Now, I think the play here is you want to go ahead and, uh, and torch that tower. Singular Breach, that's going to be tough. I don't know if that's, that's going to be tough to do. Maybe they want to try and capture the tower. Or maybe that's the play. Oh, we've got a scorpion unloading here into into the noble sword infantry. Ouch, baby, ouch. That's big hits. I mean, you might as well keep firing. Let's see, let's see a little bit more. You, you might as well. If you got the range, that's a high value target. Something you really want to get rid of early if you can. Uh, looks like they may have switched targets to the breach here. Or they're just holding it down. The spear gonna go ahead and try to burn this tower and turned away by Pila. So much Pila. Yeah, they they don't want to burn this tower. They want to try to get it. So they're just gonna push in. See, and that's kind of the problem. They push in this way and it exposes all that right hand side. A little bit tough uh, to deal with. Yeah, that Egyptian infantry is gonna get his Pila off for sure. Well, he ate a ton of Javis. Um, but he did not get a lot of damage done on this tower. He might get another volley off, or they're just trying to dodge. It's too close. The range is too close. Can't be done. Oh, they got through. What? Okay. They got through. Damn. Artillery ammo coming down. That's why they saved it. No second breach. Go ahead and hit those. Uh, what did he snap? Looks like maybe he hit that thorax. The spear is still taking ammo. Got a little bit more fire damage on the tower. That artillery did do some damage into the uh, into that infantry and those missile units over there. Oh yeah, he's taking it. Oh, that's gross. Wait, where's he going? Getting shot in the back, that's where. 
Hoplet standing his own. Oh, that dude got stabbed in the face. Oh, I wish I screenshotted that. I'm gonna have to remember that. Timestamp. I gotta go back and get that screen. Oh my god, that pillow was point blank. Ouch, dude. Nasty business, that. Nasty business. There's some really good shots here. Uh, I'm gonna have to make sure I reload this this replay up. Go get some juicy screenshots from that engagement with the hoplites. That was a real good, a real good couple spots there. Nice. Is that a new spearman? It is. They're gonna make sure they get rid of that. And these guys have taken a lot of ammo. Like they spent a lot. Is that the bowman shooting at them? Wow, 149 kills though. I mean, they all gotta die, right? Might as well get rid of him if you can. Javelin Min is going to start moving up here to the front. They've got him blocked out. I, that Egyptian infantry was pre-Chevron, right? I'm pretty sure. They might be getting them, pushing them outside of this tower range here pretty quick. Honestly. Probably the Axe taking some heavy losses. To the Dacian heavy bow. It's just what I thought. Nabataeans, Nabataeans, couple of Dacian heavies. Is that all four? It is all four Dacian heavies. We got the armoreds holding the flank. Navatian swordsmen getting erased from the battlefield. So is this javelinman. He's oh, he's getting some pila off, but uh, for how long? I think these archers are starting to open up on him. He's doing a little bit of dodging, but he's still taking losses. Let me Tereos coming up, and he's going to get rid of his. Uh, ammunition into what appears to be the back of these hoplites. I mean, the chaos with the Pila is it's out of control. There's so much of it all the time. So much Pila. Like, look at those. Look at this guy suffer. Is he trying to dodge some archers? I mean, it, it looks like he might be dodging a little bit. But I still think it's taken a lot of losses. Yeah, yeah, he's not lasting too long. Not much of a charge bonus from either unit. Uh, I think the Cartley's got the better of that. Plus all this Pila going going into him, that's that not gonna last very long. Best thing now that they've got this little foothold, this little toehold, is uh, push this direction. This is the way you want to go. You want to avoid spinning your units to face this way. I believe is opening them up to uh, some serious, to serious losses. How's that scorpion doing? He's up to 19, taking fire. 84 kills with the artillery. And a breach. It looks like they got a piece of that eastern scorpion also. Which is pretty huge. Here you go, Egyptian infantry. They're about to go. He's getting some peel off into the thorax. That's pretty good. Levi Treos, having spent his clip, enters the fray. 89 kills. Decent little charge bonus for a cheap, a cheap uh, spear. I think the uh, Illyrian ones are a touch better in that regard. Actually, they might be better overall and 20 less. Because I think they have better melee attack, defense, definitely better armor, 65, and counter cavalry tactics. I don't know. I'd have to double check. But this is creating a big blob up in here, up in the front. 70 kills on the archers. Noble cab up front, giving some abilities. Nation heavies unloading. Got that spear warrior into battle buddy up his noble sword 160 he really needs to start doing some work in the front here heavy oh oh let me three us getting on the wall and we're seeing a bow horseman 62 a bow horseman is he gonna get any what did he kill nothing well he lost the men already they're going to shoot down on these archers. Makes a lot of sense. I'm surprised he hasn't uh, started to open up on them. Oh, Scorpion's shooting something. I think it's just 
melt in any of these units that I can. Any of these unit, big boy units outside. Axe 105 kills in a chevron. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Thorax is starting to get obliterated here. They're losing some ammo to the tower right here. You can see it. I do. I mean, visually, it's clear, right? Like, that should be over. I don't know what they get stuck on. The invisible force field. You always got to watch that angle. It's a little bit tough. Might have been wise to maybe have moved these up just a little bit more. I think you can tuck them in right into that little nook there. Try to open up that angle for your archers uh, a bit better. Getting the generals up here. Defense is looking pretty solid. Bounce power definitely, certainly in their favor. And they still have quite a bit of infantry. Oh no, Pila at the wall. That's rough for the Noble Sword, losing his Pila like that. And then Thoreo Spear is going to take advantage and throw some sharp sticks right into his butt cheeks. He's not taking losses yet, but you know he's taking some HP damage. Uh-oh. Glitchy shield wall. I hate when that happens. This Nebatean still, I think it's the same one from before. He's been holding his own, but not, not giving a lot back. Not giving a lot back. Rayo's taking some shots in the back. That's a nice little angle here. More scorpion bolts coming out. Ooh, your noble sword is having a bad day, my friend. That scorpion is getting the better of him. 33 kills, um, but they're worth it. Like every penny. Expensive. Expensive. Capgen moving up. Uh, he's now probably in range of that scorpion. Down 10 men in the unit. What do we have here? Eight kills only. They need to get... I mean, I think these guys routed and came back, which is pretty huge. This right here, this is this is what I'm talking about. You got to get a guy here. You got to get a guy here. And, like, really force them to turn, you know, so you get those shots into his, into his backside. He's winded. Did he use all his ammo? I hope so. I hope so. Levi Thoreos finally breaking, but 114 kills and just shy of a chevron. He might even still get it. Spear Warrior is going to route 64 kills. I mean, you know, it's a Spear Warrior. He was designed to t take Pila and, uh, you know, wear down the enemy. So these two little Nabataeans, I feel like, could be better served out on the wings like this or maybe even out here for one of them uh because they're kind of just inside the other unit i guess this guy's kind of up in the in the fight but like what are they holding back 52 thorax we got this currently moving in he's gonna go and shore up the line and they're gonna unload on him 31 kills of the Nabataean, and that's an opportunity here to make some ground up and to remove a pretty, pretty healthy unit. Oh, what happened here? It's just the flags inside? Yeah, it's just the flags kind of swap sides. 183, it is cooking down. Like, he has lost 40 men, but he's been in the fight for a long time. And they're going to just have to start unloading on him. They got to deal with that unit. Because he will wear down that infantry pretty good. But they do have... There is quite a bit reserved for the defenders. Uh, okay, four Thorax. A few Thoreos. And even a couple of Carly Axemen still. 54, oh, they did get some more damage done on the Scorpion. Maybe that Dacian Cav came in. And I'm just not seeing it. I did not catch him. Oh. Noble Horse Archers outside. Gonna get some work done on this full unit of Nabataeans. Or is he shooting? No, he's shooting the hoplite. He's down to 133. What's shooting at it? I think it's the scorpion. It is the scorpion. Nice shots. Noble horse archer taking a volley from the Nabataean heavies. No losses. But if they do it again, he will definitely start dropping. Really? Did they miss every shot? 
unfortunate um, RNG there for the Navateans. Three volleys and no kills into that horse archer. You know, I feel like if it was my horse archer and they got a full face volley to it, like right to the face, they shot that guy in the face. Uh, I would have died. My my cap would have been done, bro. Done. Oh, the right hand side. Oh, no. Okay, they realize this. They're going to go ahead and they're trying to reposition. Maybe get into the fight here against this Thorax who is still hanging on. I think that's the same one from before. I mean, they're doing a pretty damn good job. Bounce of power has shifted a, maybe a little bit towards middle. There we go. That's going to do some damage. Finally taking some losses on the fourth volley. Fourth volley. Oh, that's going to miss. Oh, no, he's getting it. But not a lot of killing. Taking some damage, but um, unfortunately, not a lot of killing. And he's going to go fire into that tower. So that's beneficial. Here they go. They've made it. This is definitely going to do it. This is going to break this front part. 228 in the chevron on this noble sword and they've got a second one up in the front here oh they need another this is a i mean still 149 but man unfortunate but he needs to go in i think i think the play is you got to get this in is this an out of ammo archer i hope so otherwise this might be a problem for them no he's out of ammo mm, they're not great in melee melee defense is 12. Uh, so they're not all that awesome. Put them in a spear. They they can probably take that Levi Thoreos. It didn't get burnt yet. Uh, they they need they didn't they haven't acquired it yet either. So they need to. Here we go. They they have to have a uh, something else with some kick up in the front here. Eastern's getting in up into the mix. Dumping on what looks to be this Navitian heavy. 100 kills. He's, got, he's getting some kills in combat. Getting some kills in melee. I mean, the weapon damage is 35. So, you know, it's not like he can't get a few kills. This is a unfortunate. Do not want to break that tower on top of your noble sword. Um, there it goes. Watch your noble swords. They're going to try to keep him in the pinch. Um, don't save the spear, save the noble sword, Br brother man. This is bad news, bears. It's all. Oh no, you gotta get out from there. You gotta get out from there. Yeah, ouch. That pathfinding is so bad by the tower. It's so bad. Yeah, they're gonna lose the uh, part of this unit to the tower unless they start finally trickling out here. Oh man, Un that is that is too bad. That is too bad because there's no reason to lose this chunk of the unit to the tower. Not gonna lie, a couple of guys might get out. A couple of more guys. Oh, he lost a lot of dudes. Wait, was it mostly archers? It may have been mostly archers. Uh, I'm not sure why they turned both their noble swords around. Bit of a blunder here. Armored Desert making work of this Thorax. That's pretty nice. We got another Carly moving up. We still have the Gen, the Thorax sword. Um, lots of ammo still. Dacian heavies unloading. We're going to have to bring in the rest of these. Oh, uh oh. Royal Katas, Noble Horse Archers. Yeah, they need to spend their entire clip on everything they possibly can right now. And then they need to push all their all their units inside. There's nothing that they can do out here, really. Because they will eventually run out of uh run out of infantry if they just trickle them in, right? They're gonna have to do something something big and bold. That's a nice little play. Is he gonna go ahead and catch? He is gonna catch that horse archer. Jen's going to come in and clean up that cab, though. Easy. No. Very little damage. Very little damage. 
They might try and snake the gen here. Don't think he's going to do too much. Okay, now they're starting to work him down. I mean, he did take a few baldies, so you know he's got some HP damage. That would be pretty big uh, for this Navitia Noble Cab to wipe out. That horse archer would be very, very nice. Jen's going to go ahead and help him out with that. Um, hopefully they don't lose track of that. They kill and return. Uh, the old uh, fuck and go. Fuck and go. Thorax is losing in the front. Oh, that's a right-hand exposure. A big-time right-hand exposure on that noble sword. They're just like, forget about it. Forget about it. We're out. We're leaving. I mean, if you got an out-of-ammo archer, you got to throw him in. You got to throw him in. Uh, bring him up. Get this guy up. And in the mix, if these have... I mean, these guys are decent, right? Yeah, 20, 24, and then 15 melee defense. Okay, maybe not so good, but... You need them in there. You know, you need them in there to stop the flank, uh, to shore up the, the defenses, to take the Pila. You gotta do some of that business. The Dacian heavies, though. 95 kills. Let's see if they still have... They're gonna go ahead and chase this general. If they can catch him, I mean, he is tired. That would be pretty damn massive. Um, almost would have been worthwhile to bring this with. Or, like I said, put him inside. Nothing wrong with putting it inside, you know? Uh, as long as it's consensual, if you know what I mean. But right-hand shots on both units. They're kind of fucking them up. Like, they're having a rough time. A hoplite wall maybe would have been good for this guy. Uh, to do a little bit more work. What are we seeing in here? A full thorax, basically. Noble Sword going to go ahead and get in the mix. Jen now coming in. The spear unit. It's looking pretty, pretty much uh, a sure thing for the defenders. I don't know how much of their ammo or uh, their balance of power is ammo. But you're hoping it's not too much. Because if they have spent a lot of their... It looks like these guys are probably spent. That's why they're way back here. Same with the uh, Scorpion. They did go ahead and catch that general. Um, not enough to kill it. But they definitely did some damage. Uh-oh. Lose it. Oh, lose him to the... Ouch. Ouch. Well, they caught him a bit. Get you guys out. Now get you guys out. The tower's just going to cook you. Here we go. Get him in there. Very good. Very good. Very good. Uh, spear against archers. No problem. Light Peltist. Oh, Light Peltist, though. Light Peltist. Different story. Oh, man. He took a lot of... A lot of missile fire, for sure. Axeman up on the wall. Axeman in the front line getting his chevron and getting shot like i'm talking every like land these towers homie land, land the land these towers if they don't have any more ammo just one two and just bloop bloop land them or just land one to flank and then have one go over here you know force them to spread it out uh same with this side same with this side just start walking one here uh, with your empty archer, you know? Uh, take another one, land it here. Or at least threaten to land it there. You don't actually have to land it at first, but look at this. Look at this. Balance of power still. Ooh, they have Pila. That, they have ammo. This is why the balance of power is in favor of the... Of the defenders. I mean, they don't have much in terms of infantry. But again, then again, neither do the attackers. Let's be honest. They don't got a lot. I mean, they're holding the front line here with, uh, they've got their one partial, I mean, almost full, thorax. Got this Nabatean heavy up in the front. We've got this, uh, oh, he's getting some good shots off uh, with that Eastern Javelinman and shots off into this Noble Sword Gen. Like, there, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's tough. That's tough. 
this is why the landing right because imagine you see if you had if you had one land here right now and then one here take that jabby out right like one two i forget going over there because the cab you could have brought your two cab over here keep this at bay bam bam you know or blam blam take the gate lock that dude outside just saying you know there could have been there could have been moves there could have been moves still has ammo so go ahead and dump that general carry an axe 45 armor only and get him out of here thorax sword cooking though wouldn't decisively here they use their gen abilities right i mean this this gen over here could do some serious damage the problem they don't have anything to stop that pila there they're gonna go ahead and land that nabatean archer finally I mean, I'm bringing this inside too, uh, and using the uh, using the ballista crew to like go around. He could take out an archer unit. Ballista crew would stand toe to toe with the archer unit. Mm, that noble sword, though, down to 83 men. Pop those head, pop those abilities. Get that head hunt in there. Uh, get that archer in there to sort of like give him some, you know, bolster the bolstering, some support. Give him some support. We got some decent melee archers like they're okay all three of them are like okay in uh melee combat so that's that's pretty handy this is going to be huge getting the flank around these units uh pretty dang massive especially we get this cab around here that would also be excessively huge they need to save this gen but he is losing Okay, good shots, good shots. Look, 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 look. Go ahead and chasing them off, chasing them off. Get all these archers in the gen. One here, one here, one around the back, and into this uh, thorax sword. I mean, this guy could go here. This guy should go in here, start breaking this. Um, and now this thing can go right through, right through. Oh, the gen. Enemy gen's gonna go ahead, get in the mix. Here we go. <sighs> Big hits that was huge 114 charge bonus he's gonna start racking up the kills melee defense 40 melee defense 23 Nabati and cab not gonna stand up to that but he already got his value of chevron 114 kills pretty good um and hopefully doing some damage here in the meantime against against this cavalry see that's a problem did the dacians heavies have spear no they don't neither do the nevitians hey eh? ouch almost um worthwhile to maybe take that armored out and uh and bring him around this way this archer needs to go all these units need to go in everything needs to go in there everything you've got to get this general you have to get him you send this uh he's got the shield wall up you get this get this shield wall up get your arm your uh, hop hop with a wall do it he's kind of getting stuck but he's also kind of fucking shit up like not gonna lie about that oh he might get a chevron if you can kill one of these that would be massive massive oh come on cab gen you can go through go 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 bro cataphrac is eating breakfast lunch and dinner over here okay battle buddy him battle buddy him uh get this in the general get this in the general uh, get this around into these archers maybe like it's possible to do here i mean they still have both their generals uh thorax is losing harry and axe with 178 kills that's madness i mean what's better in melee you know honestly they're kind of even the nevatine slightly better maybe the dacian heavy uh is better for sure look at this look at this the balance of power went the other direction what the hell happened get that cataphract he needs to get reset 
you got to get reset and slammed into some stuff here. Jen still alive. Uh, Na Navatee and Cap going around the backside. They're sending all their archers. Uh, and that around here, maybe they should. Somebody need to go for the victory point. But actually, spreading out could be dangerous with that cataphract chilling right there. Oh, there's nothing. Right into... Yeah, there's not a lot of real estate uh, for this cataphract unit. I mean, charging directly into the hoplite wall. Still, and making some, uh, making some, uh, doing some damage. Some serious, serious damage. Only a minute on the clock. It's not looking good for the defenders, not gonna lie. I thought they had it uh, for quite some time. It looked, it did appear like it would go to uh, the defenders. 166, 144. This guy, this is just too much. Uh, he's gonna get that char side charge. Kind of. Kind of. All his uh, stuff has worn off. No more gen abilities. Two chevrons, 266. It's not like he couldn't do it. Uh, not if he's walking in the spear range like this, though. He gotta get running, boy. Running. No, he's gonna break. That's just not enough. If you could get that gen out, maybe. Maybe. But no damn. I mean, just not enough. He's got the head hunt on. He is doing work. Cataphract did very nice. Get that triple chevron. Very nice. But it is going to do it. It is not enough in the tank. Even with this tower support, uh, the attackers are going to go ahead and take it. We've got the Nabataean Dacian combo for some points. Again, I didn't bring up. I keep forgetting to write this shit down before I start recording. I just go, oh, I'm going to record. It's a great idea. And then I forget to write it down. Um, but I'll put a graphic in uh, right about, yeah. And it's somewhere between three and five points, I'm sure. We'll find out, though. All right, let's have a look at these kills. Okay, defenders. Defenders uh, were the uh, unbiased mod. So pretty freaking epic, honestly. That's pretty good battle. Great archer work here. Like the missile units doing good. Tons of value. Even the mid-tiers, great value across the board. Um, Levy Threos, does that mean... Some chevrons, pretty decent kills. Uh, a couple of them a little bit underwhelming. Maybe they didn't quite get their peel off before they got caught or shot. Uh, but pretty standard, pretty solid. Fukuzin looking to uh, repeat his scorpion dominance from the other game. But uh, alas, not a, not as much kills as, as previously. I mean, he was getting some good work done on those, on those uh, nobles. Infantry got a little bit fucked up. Uh, archers, same thing. You know, not terrible, but uh, not the best. Gen, though. Huge. Heavy lifting. Massive. Fjorm with his noble swords. Excellent work pretty much across the board. The archers doing hella good. Uh, even in melee at the end, they were clutching it up. You know, regular stuff for these other types of units. A uh, bow horseman could have maybe done a little bit better. I think he got caught out by some archers over there on the wing trying to get that trying to snipe this guy up. 93 kills on the ballista even after breaking the breach. Pretty damn good. Archers excellent. Navity and Noble Cap pretty good. Uh, actually that's very good. Hoplites very well done with those hoplites. A couple of them got a little bit uh, juiced but that's alright. And your Nabatine sword. I mean that is essentially your your high t uh, your high end battle buddy. He's eating Pila. He's kind of bolstering up these hoplites. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's it. Very well played, guys. Entertaining game. Close down to the wire. A huge uh, bounce power flip. So yeah, it's a good time. Um, that's going to do it for today's battle. Please stay on the lookout for the next one. If you like the video, uh, do the stuff. Uh, comment, subscribe, share, blah, blah, blah. Put the little bell. Whatever you're supposed to do. You know the drill. Everybody knows. Help Siege Jesus. Make a wee smidgen of that internet money. I would much appreciate it. And uh, until next time, take care of yourselves.